people aren't really sure what to think. You hear sobs. We will have time to mourn. Right now, we need to recover. Please help help in the reconstruction. We need to we need to clean this place up. It's kind of unsightly. It's horrible. Please, it's fucking ugly. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking you hear ugly. someone cut out. Call this out. Sucks. Are you the new king? No, I am. Put <laughs> <laughs> <Bogdan, laughs> on the balaclava. <laughs> Yeah, oh, no. I put okay. the balaclava on and I <laughs> make myself look like it. <laughs> uh, I am no, no, king no, no, now. No. And you, you see people are- Peter, after suffering, going down so many times in that last boss fight, decides maybe it's finally time to find a new no, career. He, he just has irreparable brain damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he ended up like Guido. Anyway, uh- oh. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, using the wealth and fame from the company that he formed with Gravo, he decided to pursue a career as an actor. So he did this because he realized there wasn't a lot of dwarves in the theater, so he wanted more representation. Mm. So after a decade into the business as an actor, he also decided to become a playwright and he made a feature film about an elf visiting the capital city from way up north. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> you see where I'm going with this. Fuck you. And he even featured himself in one of these roles. So what's his <clears throat> claim that you might ask? Peter Files. Dinklage. Thank you Files so much. Mil Files Minch. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that too. God Thank damn you. It. Fuck, it. fuck you, Patrick. Okay. Uh, Kobe, Files what does Dravo do? I, <laughs> I, I bring finally... in Miles Finch. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, go ahead, Kobe. Sorry. No. What does Dravo, the most powerful man in the underworld, do? I am establishing the first World Bank. Oh. Yo, centralized bank. God damn. What is but, the name of your bank? <laughs> the golden bank. Missionary. <laughs> Dra Dravo's Banks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God>! <laughs> <laughs> what the oh, well, yeah. Yeah, that is cool. <laughs> Fuck it. But yeah, the, it's not just going to stop there, though. This, okay. this isn't just a bank. This is a city. The city oh. is the bank. I'm making a city. But all money Whoa. and shipping and and trade in all general fashion my city. It will be the central faction. The, the, the so are central you basically revolutionizing the rust? Or are you making a city somewhere else on the continent? Somewhere else. Okay. But straight up I'm oh. fucking I am becoming a, my own superpower. Do is the pure cash. Yes, the airship was a key part in that. So, no, I'm asking, is it still up? Huh? Yes, the airship company still exists, and that's how and, he's fucking... And, and starting... Right. Yep, and starting now, going forward, any campaign we play in this setting now has a new playable race. Jew. <laughs> I invented the Jews. They're all black. Jews are black. Jews are black. already <laughs> says the dwarves are the Jews of the world. All right. <laughs> any anything else? Eliminate the dwarf. You can always decide to do more stuff later. It's just um. Is there anything else you can think of at the moment? <laughs> but I uh, I mean like basically yeah i'm basically just centralizing like all trade and all manner of faction to go through me my city and money i i am now reached my ultimate form i am the golden banks my like i now wear a, a golden fur, fur coat my skin is painted in gold and i have a golden well I feel like it's better if it's silver. I have a silver, no, platinum, platinum, mm. fucking mineral grill. 
Damn, drip grill, and I'm wear and I wear a do rag at all times. <laughs> all right. And he he has like an entourage of golden and platinum Ogden, warforged. What are you doing? After these uh, escapades have drawn to a close, um, he he helps you know clean up clean up the area a bit and um, make sure Richard is uh, is on his feet. And he takes all of the the treasures uh, he has acquired on the journeys with his um with it with his uh, his friends, uh, or at least he considers them all to be good friends. Um, whether or not they feel the same to him, you know, he doesn't really care, honestly. Um, but he takes his riches and he uh, charters a ship back to Hizuru, where he. Uh, spends years uh, tracking down and finding the noble woman who he fell in love with while he was uh, for the mob, and he uses the majority of his riches as a dowry um, to wed her. And they travel back um, to I can't remember where exactly it was, but they travel back to Bogdan's uh, <laughs> goat farm. And live a humble life as goat farmers. Uh, he has five goats um, named Dieter, Dravo, Mardak, Richard, and Zeke. Aww. And, Aww. And, and a horse named Morris. Oh, that's actually really sweet. All right. That's horse good. or a horse, quote unquote. No, just an actual horse. Okay. Bogdan is probably the most wholesome D&D character we've ever had in our party other than Guido. <laughs> Alright. Um, Brian, we're gonna do yours last, but um, right. what were your intentions with the rest? Were you going to rule over uh, them? Or no? I'll, I'll cover that. Alright, yeah, go, uh, go ahead. Basically, he's not gonna rule over them. Okay. Pussy! I yell be, from my yeah, castle. It's gonna be pussy, pussy, that weird pussy. limbo of his role that people don't know why he's not doing anything really to directly rule it. Because he's a pussy! So are you going to do more like an equal partnership with the Rust? You're going to recognize them instead of ignoring them and pretending they're lower class? Oh. Okay, B meritocracy. All right. Um, so with that in mind, Jan. Damn, oh, that's and, crazy. And but, also, uh, also, do you want, do you want as, funding? <laughs> also, as a as a as a as a funny as a funny like you know how sometimes animes will have like an episode after the show's done. Yeah. Right. I imagine in that episode, everyone visits Bogdan's farm, and they found out they find out at the farm uh, when they see two two Bogdans that Bogdan is actually a real person, and it is his, is his identical twin brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh <laughs> uh, god, that's funny. <clears throat> All right, Richard, what are your plans? For Vodkaria. So, yeah, first off, he gives all of his friends like a bunch of riches and positions of power in the government. Hey, Lamau. If they don't take it, well, the offer is there. And then he has to work on uh, reforming everything. Because uh, after all this fighting, he's gotten really militarized and meritocratic type of way. Mm-hmm. So he puts a lot of funding into that and just like trying to raise people up for From the rest dead. itself. He does like he respects his friend, even though I guess he doesn't him and he leaves the rest be. But like every year he hosts like fundraisers and is giving the money and opportunities to people in the rest to, you know, if they want to come out and work in actual Valkyria. And he sends a uh, spice, expensive wine bottles to everybody, even the mud soldiers. And uh, after a very uh, long time of uh, research... And How you US, funding that? You want to fund that through me, nigga? <laughs> the king. You're not the only person with money. Yeah, I got more than you. He's probably right. You do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you do. 
But... Oh yeah, take a cut. <laughs> Bro, I take a cut yeah, from your I'm general crazy. trade, Yeah, thank you, Kobe, nigga. because there really actually are only two major cities in Vodka. <laughs> what was the other one so that now, I was getting into? Halden is the he, fucking yeah. northern one. Yeah. So yeah, he kind of declares a war on the wilderness and goes on a massive <laughs> expansion campaign. Okay. <laughs> and uh, he orders major. all cats under purview. Under- understandable. Because he has a bad experience with cats and he thinks they're evil and plotting. Mm. Okay. And uh, he's racist against cats. I can support this. <laughs> well, now he knows he's this is a leader I can get behind. After many years of research, uh, he finds a permanent potion for Morris to finally become a human. Oh, no. halfway, <laughs> and he marries her at a grand ceremony. Oh, God. <laughs> he is <laughs> fucking his mouth! <laughs> what? He is fucking his mouth! <laughs> 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 Fuck you! What the You're fuck did I hear? Cringe! You did not get my country! No! <laughs> Make him that your are the strongest DM! Fuck off! He was fucking hey, Cam- his mouth. Hey Camden, hey Camden, do you want to punish him? Understandable. No, no, no. If you want to punish punish him for it, make the potion backfire partially and make Morris part out. Mouth fire confirmed. <laughs> Make Morris part. Name that. Cat. Make that the name of the clip. <laughs> Fucker confirmed. Yeah, I, I bet, I bet when they have sex, Morris likes, likes him to put the, the harness back on. <laughs> yeah, grab my yeah. antlers, bitch. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait. Do and they have many children. Have yeah. antlers? Dear there God. Ah, oh, God. Oh God. And I'll leave it at that until we get back to Vodkaria in my. Story. All right. The great battle, um, and the coronation. Um, Richard is going to sleep for the night, and he hears, a, he hears a whisper. He's like, <laughs> and you hear, you hear someone, you hear someone whispering to you, Richard, um, out from the balcony. What do they Very say? Comfortable in my bed. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> and you hear a you hear a popping noise, and next to you, plops a rock. Oh. No, let's go. Oh. And he recognizes Russo. Rusty, it's you. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> uh, your father spoke highly of you, but um, you exceeded my expectations, boy. I did? I haven't really done anything. <laughs> You've done enough. And, um, I'm not usually one for acts of charity, but um, I think I'll stick around and help you out for a little while. You know, see where things go. All right. Uh, welcome to the family. Mm. What? <laughs> and he's thinking of making him a like a very nice velvety pillow, or the finest materials to sit Give on. Give him a cloak. <laughs> Well, uh, cloak too. thank you. And, uh, like your father always said, the motherland is never boring. And that's the campaign, boys. Oh, I mean, I don't know. You want to... <laughs>